We need to get to the desk. I'll, I'll, I'll try to enter the desk. Yeah. So now we are doing exercise number number two. On can check it on your on your learner guide. Right. So now here in this exercise, they are telling us they are telling us the component we need and the scenario scenario for for the circuit that we are, we are building. So like one instruction I want you to note. I want you to look at bullet point number five, where they are telling us that this process will run indefinitely. So we should, like this indicates that our circuit will run indefinitely. Repeating the same pattern over and over again. So now I want you guys to, to build this circuit. This one. It's, it's, it's in exercise number two. Thank 
So now everyone been able to build their second. Right, I'm gonna give you five minutes and then we'll start it. So now also make sure that your stand is in front of the twenty four hours like at the dinner time is eighteen years that the visitors are have a average length of hundred and twenty hours. Thank you. 
So now, so now I start it. So after you have built your your circuit, you wanna go to code, and then this time you wanna be using wanna be using blocks, right? Wanna be using blocks. So now, when you open like code, you wanna get these things. You wanna remove them by just throwing them out. That's this, right? And then since According to your learner guide, they told you that this this sec, this circuit runs independently, and one of the instructions of the circuit they said when the circuit is connected, the red light will turn on for four seconds, then it will turn off, and then the orange one, the orange the orange and the green LED will go through the same process, right, and it will run independently. So now. So now, since they told you that your this this process is gonna run indefinitely, you wanna go to control, and then you're gonna create the the forever block, right? Mm. And since they, they also told you that the light turns on for four seconds, then it turns off, and the other light also go through the same process. All right, so as I said, the process, since it's running is definite, you wanna drag the forever block from controller to here. And since they told you that the LED is the internal for four seconds and then they take off Come on. That's on. through a, a process. So first, the red LED is gonna turn on for four seconds, then it's gonna turn off, then this one is gonna turn on, yeah. and then, then it's gonna turn on for four seconds, then turn off, and then this one's gonna and then it's gonna start again with the process. Like and then it's gonna do it forever, right? So you wanna thread the forever block. Then since you know it's four seconds, you're gonna create a variable that's gonna store the four seconds. Right? So now if you come here and then you you write a new variable, maybe you call it let's call it. Time. Let, let's call it. Let's call it time. Right? So you wanna create a new variable which is gonna be equivalent to, to four seconds, right? Then we are going to we are going to set we are going to drag the set block. So now we are setting this variable to four seconds, right? So every time now. Like when you're using this variable, you don't have to write four seconds. You can just you can just drag the time variable and the system will you know you can it's four percent. That's how you store it's four if it's four seconds. So that's how you store a variable in using props. So now you wanna start you wanna start working with the red light. So now since Since, since the red light is connected to pin number 13, we wanna go to our input and then we wanna set set pin number 13 to high, right? So now we're doing it for the red light. And then after you set pin 13 to high, you wanna delay it by the time variable, which means you wanna delay it by four by four seconds, right? So now you wanna go to control and then you wanna wait for like so if like I didn't create a new a variable for time, I would have to write four seconds here, 
what I get for when I'm doing when I'm doing the when I'm doing the, the green and the orange side. But now since I've created a variable that is stored to four, I can just come here to variables and I can drag the type variable and then paste it here. So now so now the the red light will turn on and then it will wait for time, time which is equal to four seconds, right? And then after four seconds, it's gonna turn off. So we wanna come back and set it to to do. We're gonna go to output, and then we wanna drag the set pin, the, the set the, the set pin block, and then we wanna set pin in back to low, right? You understand? All right. So now, since we are done with the with the with the red light, we wanna go to the orange light. So, but now before we move on, we also have to we also have to delay we also have to delay the amount of time the red light is gonna turn off for. So, we also have to go back to control, right? And then break this function and then delay it by 10 seconds, right? And then now, like, so I can see what we are doing. I want you to go to notation and then drag the, the comment, the, the comment block, and then put it here and then like try and comment on what you are trying to do. So let's say, for example, like for when I was setting the time variable, I can say I'm creating a variable to store the, the four second the, the four second delay, something like that. So you have to comment on that thing. Even like here. Like let's say you have to explain that I'm turning on I'm turning on the red light. Like you have to comment so I can see what you are doing. But now, like as we are going through the session, I'm not gonna like put comments because it's gonna take time. So now moving on to moving on to the orange light. So now since our since our orange light, as you can see, is connected to it's connected to pin number number 12, right? So you wanna go back here and then you wanna go to the set the, the set block and then you wanna set pin you wanna set pin 12 to high, right? And then you also wanna delay it by the same amount of time. So you wanna delay it by four seconds, right? So now like this. And then you're gonna turn it off, right? So now you go to the set, the, the, the set pin block again, and then you put it to back to low. So you're gonna set pin 12. So you're gonna set pin 12. When I set pin 12, back to back to low. Right. And then we wanna also wanna delay it by four seconds. So it's gonna take after it turns on for four seconds, gonna turn on for four seconds ready. So now you try this one. And then now since we are done with the with the orange with the orange LED, we wanna go to the green LED. So now, if you look at our green LED, it's going to set to pin 11. So you want to use pin number 11 to turn it on and off. So now we come here and then we set the set, the set pin variable. And then we set pin number 11 to high. Right? And then we want to delete by four seconds. And then we wanna take we wanna turn it off. So we we'll come back to set pin set pin block, and then we take pin level 
back to the loop, right? And then we will delay it by four seconds. So now, before we move on, like let's say if like the our LED like says different time for turning turning on and off. I was not gonna create a variable, so just gonna put it manual like four seconds, one more. But now since they are all using the same constant time, I'm just gonna create it as a variable, which I'm gonna paste. Okay. So now your code is done like this. You can start stimulating and then. Then now your second shift. So you should start at the red light and then move to green light. So now does everyone does anyone have any questions? Thank 
So now that everyone understands this exercise. So now we are moving on to exercise number three. So in our exercise number three, we're going to be using a potential meter or an or an analog knob. So like now using a potential meter, you can you can you can regulate how much the the LED, the LED goes, or how bright it is. So now, if again, like if you look at your, if you look at your, at, at your micro micro console, you can see this side. It has digital signals, right? Like, and then on this side, it's using analog signals. So, for example, digital signals were in such a way. Let's say it's on or off, right? But with analog signal, it's like a volume. You can adjust, you can adjust it. So, like, so now we're gonna be using a potential meter to control how much the uh, LED goes. So now I want you guys to to build the second chain. It's on the guys in exercise number three. It's a potential meet. It's for like a So now we can 
So now, some of you may know a, a potentiometer is a variable resistor. Thank you. 
So now, after you are done connecting your circuit, make sure that the resistance of the variable crystal potential meter is at a maximum of 250 ohms. So it has to be at 200, like that, is, that would be its like maximum point where it can reach. So, and then your resistor should be at 200 and 220, 220 ohms. So now, if you look at your potential meter, it has three, let me call it, yeah, three nodes. It has terminal one, it has a, a wiper, and it has terminal two, right? So the wiper, the one in the middle, it corresponds to the analog signal, which means it will be the one that we are changing when we are adjusting this knob between from, from zero to whatever maximum with a maximum of 150 ohms. And then your terminal one should be connected to, to power, which means it should be connected to the five volt, the five, the five volt load here on the microcontroller. And then your terminal two should be connected to ground. So now, So now, how we begin to write the code, right? So now we have to come in, like go to then go back to code, and then we. Since when we are not expecting our thing to run forever, want to regulate it, it is that you're not going to be using the forever block. You're just going to create a variable that's going to store the rating of the potential meter rating. So you want to create a variable that's going to store the value of the potential meter. And then you want to set that value to read the analog signal from yeah, A0, since our position is an analog device, it's going to be reading whatever input from, from, from A0, right? So now, we're going to send it to input, and then it's going to go to input, and then we're going to say it's going to read analog pin A0, right? So, like now, whenever we are Whenever we are controlling the or we are adjusting the potential meter, the the, the, sec, the circuit or the signal is going to be read from this pin here, from the analog pin A0. Right? And then now we are control how how big it is. So now we are going to go to variables and then we are going to set the LED. So we also want to create another variable for the LED. Right? So now we create a variable for LED. So now we want to set we want to set the the LED to read the value of the the value of the potential. So if you still remember, we set our potential size from zero to up to 250, 250 ohms. Is the max, the max for our for our potential meter. So now, when I come here to map under the under under map, and then we're gonna drag the map the the map the map block here. 
So now we're gonna, it's gonna be met from, we're gonna make the potential meter. So since our potential meter is starting at zero, we're gonna make it from zero to 250, 250 ohms, right? And then, we're going to the output variable, and then we want to set So now, if you look at our LED, it's gonna it's connected to pin number pin number six. So now, so we wanna set our pin number six, right, to read the value of the potential meter. So when you are adjusting our when when, when you are adjusting the value of the when you are adjusting the potential meter. This thing, this pin here, it will read the value of the position and then it will adjust the brightness of the line accordingly. Does anyone have any questions? To fix. So now, after you are done, you can start the simulation. And then now, as you can see, since our resistance is too high, the, you're going to get this, this warning here, which indicates that there's too much current flowing to the ADC. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to bend out. So now from here, you can begin to adjust it. And then as you can see, we are adjusting it like to back to zero. The LED gradually dims, right, as you can see. Right. So now, like when you start to increase it, and then even the brightness to the LED it increases, but when it gives you a warning like this, it means that the, the resistance is too low, so the LED is bending up, right? So now we have to adjust it again. Right? Yeah. So now this is how you control the brightness of the of the LED using a potential meter. Does, it, does, does anyone have any questions? Thank you. 